Um, what happened is he had told me that because he knew that I would be staying with him for a minute, like a couple weeks or so until he can get me into a hotel room because at the time I didn't have any money or a job. But uh, I was pursuing my career, I was pursuing my career also in music. And uh, I guess uh, maybe like uh, uh, three weeks or a month later, Randy had came out to California too. And I was like, oh man, what are you doing here, Mr. Man? Oh, you don't know, man. Uh, ain't nothing jumped off for me or happened for me. And, you know, oh man, now it's both of us, you know, who are, you know, out here with no job and, you know, no, no career or anything that happened yet. And uh, Bobby took us both in and was like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I'm just, my career is just starting to, you know what I'm saying, launch or whatever, you know, just, get, just take it off. And, uh, you know, it was like he had us there and, and uh, we his younger brothers and he didn't want to just shut the door on us, you know, turn his back on us. So basically he took the little money that he had because he was getting by weekly from Motown and stuff, you know. And uh, he put us in a hotel room for a couple of weeks. He told us, hey, you guys are men, and that. This is what I can do right now. And then, you know, if y'all need something later on, I'll see what I can do. But, you know, try to, you know, uh, see what you can do also, you know what I mean? Because you're out here and you're not boys no more. You know, your older brother, I look out as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But, you know, kind of, you know, help me out by trying to find something to just, you know. And uh, that's what happened in the process of that, you know, he had explained to me about his relationship with this young guy and, and how he, you know, he was coming out with me first, you know, as a younger brother. Because, you know, I was a young, strong brother, and, and he wanted me to understand. He wanted somebody to understand, you know. Uh, and uh, basically, you know, he just came out with me because he knew I was going to see him with the dude and, and, and going, you know, and, and at night, you know, going to bed with him and all that and waking up with him. So he wanted me to understand that, hey, this is what I am. This is what I do now, you know. And uh, But at the same time, he had just got to... Uh, Breaking up a relationship with Latoya, there was a secret, secret relationship and that. And on, on his last album, he wrote a song about her called "You and I." You know, you and I, you and I, you and I together. It was a pretty song mm -hmm. that he wrote, and it was for her. You know, he's standing there, you're my nighttime lover, because a lot of times he would sneak over there at nighttime and act like you know he just coming to see the family or visit and that. But him and Latoya was having a secret relationship at the time. It all at the same time he would call home like your grandma this and put uh, Janet on the phone, let her talk with Chico and James and all that stuff. And that's how Janet had got to meet James, you know what I mean? Through, it was through the phone at first, you know, they had talked. And what happened was when James came out to LA, he was like, you know, where's Janet? And he told her that he would be out there one day soon and that he would meet her and that they could get together and this and that. And they kind of kept that little whatever over the phone and then it, it branched off and, uh, later on. When he came to LA, he, you know, he uh, met up with her, you know. And it was all because, you know, the relationship that Bobby had had with Jermaine Jackson and Hazel and, and, and you know, who was a manager and also going up to the house and, you know, dating Latoya secretly after a little while, you know. He became friends with, uh, not only with Jermaine, but also with Michael, Latoya and Janet, and, you know, and all of them, Tito, when they would come up, when he would come up to the house, he would tell me, you know what I mean? They were like, uh, you know, basically, uh, uh, Talented friends at first, you know what I mean? Like they, they adored their talent, their look. You know they look had a, you know from a good-looking family, and you guys are talented. And, you know, and then one thing led to another. You know what I mean? And the relationship became bigger and, and better. You know what I mean? A along the way, and with Michael and Latoya and all that, and then next thing you know, James met Janet, and, and he took her off somewhere because they were secretly having a relationship as well, and then. They snuck off somewhere and got married, you know, without everybody's consent, you know what I mean? They didn't, he didn't tell, James didn't tell us, our family, uh, Janet didn't tell her family, and they just kind of kept it amongst each other, and we got married, and then they told us, and all that, you know, so that's why it was kind of shocking. But we kind of knew that they were dating, but we didn't know they were going to get married, and that just, it just happened, you know what I mean? 